something's not right. Why is it so hot? This is not snow. I can't even make a snowball out of it. Wow, it's hot. Wait a second. This isn't snow, it's sand. We need to change into something less hot. We are in White Sands, New Mexico. This is a national park. We went on a road trip to visit White Sands. Our surroundings were changing from brown everywhere to white, almost like snow. I really wanted to know what made the sand so white. So we found a park ranger to help answer our questions. Well, my name is Brenna Rodriguez and I'm a park guide here. We asked her how White Sands was made. So if you look to the surrounding mountains, you'll see these white layers. All of those white layers, it's a type of salt. So it dissolves in rainwater and snow melt. And it, Gravity drags all that water down to the bottom of the basin where it then evaporates because it's so hot and there's no river that will actually wash that sediment out to the ocean, any ocean. Everything that falls in this basin stays in this basin. Um, so once water evaporates from the lowest point, which is that way, um, it leaves behind really big gypsum crystals because like I said, it's a type of salt. So it's just going to leave those crystals behind when the water leaves it. Um, and then wind breaks those salt crystals apart as it blows across the basin in this direction. What is this anyway? It doesn't look like normal sand. That's because it's gypsum. What's gypsum? Gypsum is a mineral found in everyday objects such as paper, textiles, and even building materials. Whoa, it's really cool. It looks a lot like snow. We learned a lot from the park ranger. And we did more research once we got home. So Malia, let's show everyone how White Sands was made. Long ago, an ancient sea covered what is now White Sands in New Mexico. During this time, gypsum, a white mineral, was deposited on the seafloor. Whoa, what's happening? The water is rising. Millions of years ago, the sea rose and fell. It deposited gypsum, which now covers white sands. Wow, where are we now? This is 70 million years ago. This is when the Rocky Mountains were formed that surround white sands today. Ah, what's that? Dinosaurs. Oh, they're so cute. The Rockies helped form a large basin that trapped water into a lake called Lake Oterra. During the last ice age, around 30,000 years ago, it was much colder. 11,000 years ago, it started to warm up and dissolved the gypsum, which then settled into Lake Oterra. This looks familiar. That's because it's present day. Now, animals native to white sands roam around. Maddie, did you just kick a wolf? No. Wow, we learned a lot about White Sands. It was very cool that our national park system preserves it so that we had the opportunity to experience White Sands in person. The National Park Service preserves our nation's natural and cultural resources for the enjoyment, education, and inspiration of ours and future generations. The National Park Service manages 423 individual units covering more than 85 million acres in all 50 states the District Columbia, and the U.S. territories. Of those, 63 are designated national parks where people can visit and witness preserved habitats and wildlife. It was a long drive, but it was definitely worth the trip to see White Sands. And I can't wait to visit more national parks and learn more interesting facts. And new vocabulary words, too. Gypsum? Yeah, gypsum! gypsum.